Hello everyone, and this will be the last video of this um, project. Um, and basically in the last video, we're going to fix a couple of things. First, we're going to fix the lift server. No, we don't have the button to lift the server. And also we're going to fix, um, I don't know, probably you're fixing, fixing that. So um, the Nox token, it has an expiration code like 24 hours, I think. And if you try to log back in your like your sign up, your servers and your sign up won't load. And you have to basically click the logout again and like log back in. And I'm, I'm gonna show you how that will look. I'm just going to the admin, I'm just going to delete the this token that we have here. I just deleted the token. So if I try to refresh the page, this is how it will look like nothing here, but we are still on the page because if we go to the um, application, it seems that we have a token, but this token is not valid anymore. So we need to validate that, that this, for example, like check that the token is valid. And if not, we just need to basically delete it so it's not used to like try to make a request here and yeah we're going to do that today so let's just jump right here let's just jump right away with the um with the server it's going to create an api a new api and this one will be for um basically um leave the server right so let's just copy this one Let's just paste it here. And then here we just put um, leave server API. This will take a request and a PK. This will be the server ID. We don't need to, we don't need this one. Um, of course, the request method equals delete. We're going to um, get the server, of course. And here, with that we're gonna get the server the ID here. We get the server and then we're going to server that members that remove and then we remove the user that's making the request. But that's the user that wants to leave the server, right? Okay. When we re when we remove the user, we just save that. We, we just return this we don't need to save it because um the remove like makes a like basically safe after that um and that's it so now let's just save that and let's go to urls and then here we're going to have the url for the um, api that we created so it's just down here leave server and remember this is going to take the server id so let's just oops let's just leave it like that like with the server id okay api leave server simple let's save that now we can go to okay let's go to our we can go to our front end services and and then here in um, servers, we can copy this one. And let's paste it here. And basically, we're just going to um, make the, uh, the the live server right service. So let's just put live server. This is just going to take the server ID. And remember, we're going to make it delete to API server live server. Just like that. And we append the server ID here that we get. Um, let me check the URL again. Let me go to here URL. Okay, we don't need a slash here. Server, live server, and all that. Okay. 
um very simple let's just save that and now we can go to layout server okay and then here um lead server this is the button that we're gonna use um let's just create a function on top here we need to import our new service of course the service is called leave server okay now let's create our function to leave the server let's put it down here let's call it handle leave server okay prevent default now we just need to um call our function that we have here this one paste it down here and remember we need to pass the server id that we got we can grab it from server detail dot id right and then we're going to have a response. Use our error function here. And here we just need to basically just, I'm just going to reload the website. You can just send the user to the main page or delete the server from the signups. Just whatever you want. I'm just going to reload the website, right? Let's copy this handle the server and here in lake server we just need to put on click equals and then we just pass our function just like that very simple we don't need to do anything else um now let's copy let me let's try that with this user I just I think I just put the password around. Um which are with this user. Okay, I put the password around. But let's just click here and then let's just leave the server. Oh oh yeah, I need to submit. <laughs> I need to run npm run dev. Just refresh. Okay, now let's click here. Then now let's just click the server. It's not working now. Let me check. Oh, I think I have an error with the. Oh yeah. Um, I have an error with the URL. So leave server. Let me just check. Leave server slash and then the UID. Let me check the front end. Um, the servers here. Oh yeah, I I need to put a slash here. That's why my my URL here is wrong. So fix that. It is already now. Let's rerun this again. Um, let's refresh with Control F five to reload with the new JavaScript files. Just click here and then let's server still it's 
Let's check here. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. So this is what happened. <laughs> and it happens a lot to me. So um, here in URLs, as you can see, I put API main, main API. Um, I forgot to change the view. Sorry, the API, leave server API. Paste it there. And yeah, now we have our API assigned to this URL. It refresh now let's control f5 and now we can leave the server still oh Um, that one is a PK again, fix the URL <laughs> because remember in API, we get the PK, no server ID. You can just rename it, put server ID if you want. I just did PK just for now. Um, that should be it finally. So I just refresh. Click here and then leave server. And as you can see, it just disappeared. Okay, we fixed that. Now we need to fix the um, token situation. Okay. Um, to fix that, there is one. Um, so when we log back in, when we log, log in, um, the first component that loads is basically the signups. Right, so that's the f that's where we can like, make the validation that the token is working, because to get these servers, we need to be like the token has to work. We need to be authenticated, so we can just go to the um, to the services here in servers. Um, and actually, it's okay. Get okay here. Get sign up server. As I said, this is basically the first um request that we make. We get the sign up servers. That's basically the first request that we make after we log in. So here we need to make some some changes to verify that the um that the token is valid. For example, if I close the browser and I open it again, the first thing that's going to, the first request that's gonna make is this one, the get sign up servers, okay? So here, um, we can make some changes, basically to validate that. Um, so down here, let's do it. That's a then, and then we have that catch, right? Just we have an error. When I get an error, let's just put error and then error. Arrow function here. The first thing that we need to do, we need to delete the tokens. We need to clear that the tokens and the user information. And if we go to our um, here in our authentication services we have that we have the onset current user that said the ACOs token to null and then we remove these uh, items are in our local storage we can just call this one here import inside curly braces from um, And it remembers in authentication, so just yeah. Now we can just call that one 
here in our get sign up servers you just call this this function here and that's going to um basically run on set current user and we need to i'm just going to make a little alert like um your token expired you will be redirect to the main or to the to the login page right and after that we just need to window the location oops that reload so that should be it and here we can just close that like that and we save we rerun this again refresh with control f5 and i'm gonna intentionally um oops i'm going to intentionally delete the token from the admin panel so like basically it doesn't work okay so that token doesn't work now i'm going to refresh this this page and as you can see it says true token inspired you will be redirected to the login page okay and here we are in the token page and if we go to the application you see that we don't have any value there we just log back in we're now in the main page as you can see now we can open again go back and we are here everything is working um if you have any question just leave it in the comment uh i'm just going to update the um the um the repository with all this code that we have here um so yeah um thank you so much for following these tutorials and i really appreciate your support thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye.